Good evening. Hello there. Good evening, Laura. How Good are evening. you? I'm fine. Good evening, Laura. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. What happened to you on Friday? On then let me see Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> no, Miss, I have a. a I had a um, compromise. <laughs> compromise. Yeah, miss. All right. We can right. say compromise or arrangement too. Arrangement. Okay. Yeah, miss. Sorry, but I. I was still here. Yeah, it's good to see you in here. Important. Excellent. Important part. Yes, miss. Thank you. Exactly. All right, we're going to wait just like two minutes more and we're going to start the class, all right? Okay. I see that we have Adriana. How are you, Adriana? Hi, Miss. I'm fine. Thank you, Inju. I'm, I'm good. Thanks for asking. A little bit like between sick and healthy, but <laughs> still in here. Why? Uh, because um, I have like all the symptoms from COVID. So I'm staying home. Like I have. By now I have like eight days in home. I haven't gone out and everything, anything. So it's weird, it's awkward because the worst part is that I didn't go out before <laughs> and I was really carefully with everything, but it's, it is what it is, it happens. And, and you, you need to have a test? Yeah, actually. It's true what you're saying, but uh, it is supposed that I cannot use uh, gotas nasales. I shouldn't use them before the test. No las puedo utilizar antes del, del examen, 24 horas antes. Y si no las utilizo, no respiro. So it's like, todavía por eso no me lo he podido hacer. Sí. Yes. Necesita cuidarse, Miss. Yes, indeed. You're right, thank you. <laughs> Pero ahí estamos. Lo bueno es que estamos. I have, I have COVID two times. What? Is that even possible? I didn't know that was possible. It's possible. It's possible. Two times the last year and this year in on April. Oh my gosh, Adriana. Yeah. You are but you, such... but you, look, you look good. <laughs> yeah, makeup. <laughs> <laughs> It's very good makeup. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, thank you, Diana, for asking. Let's check how is the other classmate, Patricia. How are you, Patricia? Fine, thank you. Uh, here again. <laughs> it's ready to um, follow the English class. Excellent. Pretty good. That's great. Excellent. What about Jansi? How are you, Jansi? Hi, Jansi. Hi, teacher. Ready. Hi. I am fine. Thank you, teacher. Very good. All righty, all my dear students, welcome back to today's class. It's a pleasure to see you. Let me share with you my PPT. Okay. So we have pretty good information today. And also as per usual, we're going to practice our least our speaking ability, right? Our speaking skill. Why? Because in the platform you practice a lot your grammar and your writing and your reading and listening, but let's practice our speaking skill. Let's 
Lucy. Today we have Monday, September 3rd, 2021. We are in class 13. We are in section five. Tell me about your family. And let's check what do we have for today's class. Let's see, we, ha we have present continuous. Uh, Laura, can you please read uh, the information? Present continuous. Present continu continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. Excellent, thank you, All right? Like this is like the strawberry in the cake, right? Just to know what it's uh, present continuous about, right? And thank you, Laura. As you mentioned, it's about actions that are happening right now. So I'm pretty sure that maybe you already handle this topic quite well, but still, as everything in this life, we need to practice and reinforce information just in case that we need it. So let's see, we have this conversation. Some of you were in Thursday's class and practiced, some others were not. So we miss you, <laughs> by the way. Hey, let me see, I have Ileana. Hi, Ileana, how are you? Good evening. Hi. I'm, I'm fine. Fine. Excellent. Very really good. Yeah. Good to see you. In the mood to learn. Excellent. As per usual. That's great, my friend. <laughs> All right, girls, let's see. So we have this conversation. <clears throat> it's Rita and Sue. Okay. I'm going to have Laura as Rita and Patricia as Sue. Action. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working, she's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> this guy doesn't want you to meet anyone from his family. <laughs> it's a private family. <laughs> All right, excellent. Secret family. Ah, secret family. Sounds like all of them are spies. <laughs> all right. Excellent. Very good, Patricia. One more time. Excellent. And Laura, excellent. No mistakes with the pronunciation. We're doing pretty well. Let's go with Ileana and Jansi. Ileana, you are Rita. Jansi, you are Sue. Action. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I am not sure. She is working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet can I meet them? Oh no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. All right, very good job, excellent. No mistakes, no problems. We are doing quite right, excellent. Now you see, I'm keep pushing you to practice the conversations because actually, I don't know why, but for many people, speaking as the speaking a skill or the speaking ability, it's quite uh, hard to get, right? For some of them, it's hard to speak. And that's why I'm trying you to push you a lot to speak. Because grammar is good because you have references and you have structures, which are amazing, right? But with a speaking, you only have one chance, basically. You need to listen carefully and then you practice. So that's pretty good, excellent. I'm going to have a, 
let me check. I'm going to have Adriana, you are Rita, and Nestor, you are Sue. Action. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for the government. Oh, what does she do? I, I know for sure, and I, I'm not sure. Uh, she's working on very secret uh, project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? Uh, he's um, uh, with, with life photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them then? Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister away. She not working in the unit unit United States. United uh, United States at this month. And your brother? Uh, he is uh, traveling in the Amazon. Excellent. Very good job. Pretty good. Let's see, Nisto. Repeat after me. My sisters. My sisters. My away. sister away. <laughs> my She's... sister away. My sisters away. Now she's. Uh, cheese, cheese, uh -huh. cheese, cheese. Excellent, pretty good job. Now, the reason why I always tell you everyone to focus mainly in the pronunciation of the S is because sometimes, I don't know what happened or what's going on with our brain, that sometimes we are seeing the letter but we don't pronounce it, right? And, and you know that the letter is there, but you're not pronouncing it. And it's quite, quite uh, usual in everyone. When we are learning, it's pretty usual that you sometimes not, the, the, you don't pronounce words correctly, right? Because we are omitting some letters. So that's why practicing and practicing, it's always the key. All right, my dear students, very good job. I'm proud of you. Now, let's check this. Last class, we saw this vocabulary. We were talking about this vocabulary and we were practicing. But I was missing some of the uh, people that I have in here. So I'm going to have Adriana, please tell me the vocabulary. This one. Cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, wife. Excellent, thank you very much. Let's get Laura, please. Cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, and wife. Excellent. And now let's get Eliana. Cousin, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle, wife. Excellent. Very good. Now with this, let's complete this exercise. Some of you already made this exercise and finish it for them, but some of you are, are not, right? So let's work on this, let's complete it. Sorry, Miss, can you repeat the instruction? Yeah, Adrianita. Right now you're going to complete with this vocabulary, this exercise. Right? Okay, thank you. Thanks, I'm very good.
Let me know whenever you're finished. Finish. Thank you. Finish. Right. Finish. Finish. Very good. All right, we can start now. Let's check. So here we have grandfather. So let's see, Diane, who's Martha? She is the grandmother. Exactly, very good. She's the grandmother. Eliana, um, who's Chris? Because Sara is the mother, but who's Chris? Chris is father. Father, excellent, very good. What about um, Sam? Sam, it says that is the husband, but who's Yumiko, Laura? Yumiko is his wife. Exactly. Very good. And if we're talking about Jim, we know that he's the brother, but who's Lisa, Adriana? Lisa is sister-in-law. All right. Or what if he's only here, his sister, right? Um, sister. And uh, don't worry, don't worry. We're just training here, all right? Yeah. We could say that Lisa is actually the sister, right? Is that correct for the other ones? What do you say? Or what else do you have? For you, Lisa is the sister-in-law? Uh-huh, everyone, your point of view. <laughs> yeah, for me, she is his sister-in-law because Kelly and Jimmy are niece and nephew has to be Jim and Lizzie's son. So Jean and Liz shouldn't be. But together. what uh, but what about Teresa? What is Teresa going to be? His cousin. And His what wife. about and what about Kathy? Kathy, if we're talking about Kathy, what's going to be? Who's Kelly? Who's I'm sorry, Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Kelly. She's my uh-huh. She's uh -huh. That's she's the niece. So Teresa for you is <laughs> her his cousin. Cousin. All right. So the brother. And then we have the sister-in-law. Okay, good. You're right, because actually we don't have a sister in in the vocabulary, right? So that's great. Very good points of view. Excellent. I'm glad. <laughs> what you. would it be without you guys <laughs> <laughs> so yeah Adriana you're correct excellent y Adriana pero así lo hice y me salió bien <laughs> yes <laughs> don't worry Adriana it's okay I was just playing with you <laughs> all right let's get everyone very good very good now I'm knowledge now let's move on we have fun a little bit and now Let's move them. Ask and answer questions using the present continuous. Or as if you listen in the platform, continuous, right? <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to have Laura. You are going to ask the first question, but you are also going to respond the question. Okay, present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Excellent, very good. Adriana, please continue with the second question. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Very good. Diane, please, the third question. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So, Eliana, tell me the analysis on the answers. What's the difference between no, she's not and no, she isn't? According to you, just what you see. I don't want you to go deep. Is the similar answers? Mm -hmm. But uh, the contraction is, is different. Mm -hmm. There you have it. But 
I don't know the reason. <laughs> no, no, it's correct. What I want you to, to see from this, very good, Eliana. That's correct, my friend. Thank you. What I want everyone to see in this is that we don't have a, just one choice, right? We can use more than one choice when we are doing negative, of course, right? For example, no, she's not, or no, she isn't. Now, for some people, or basically if you're writing an essay, they say that you, you are not allowed to use she isn't or no, she isn't because it's not formal for some people. That's why I'm explaining you this, okay? So for some grammatical things, they say that you're not allowed to use no, she isn't. But whenever you are speaking or you are texting to someone, you're allowed to do it, right? So do not be careful to say, no, she isn't, I'm making that wrong. No, you're allowed, totally allowed to do it. Just remember that if you're doing a practical test or I don't know what else, or maybe an essay, sometimes you won't be allowed. And it's not to be weird about it. It's just that it's not that formal. With that being said, let's move on. I'm going to have uh, Patricia, the third, the fourth question. Okay. Where are you working now? I am not working. I need a job. Excellent. A job. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Ready, good. Veronica, tell me question number five, please. What is your brother doing these days? He is traveling in the Amazon. In the Amazon, excellent, very good. Amazon. Mm -hmm. Very good, Veronica, thank you. And the last question, Mary Vanegas, please. Who are your parents busy this week? They are busy my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. All right, everyone. Now, if you notice, my dear students, in here, the thing changed. As per usual, in every double H question, you need to provide more information. It's not like, yes, mm -hmm. I know, right? No, you need to provide more information. That's why double H words are pretty useful, right? Double H questions, because you can add more information and make things a little bit interesting. So you need to make sure to add more than just one word, right? For example, where are you working now? Uh, I'm not working, I need a job. But if you don't want to say I need a job, you can give a reason why aren't you working, right? What basically you are being used in here, basically what you're using in here is um, more information. And that's what I want you to provide. I think it's pretty clear because we have seen this before with another topics, right? So let's move on. Now, as per usual, check this. We have just no questions, which are always going to start with R, is, and R or am. But what's the difference between just no questions and double H questions, Diane? According I'm to you, sorry. what's the difference between just no questions and double H questions according to you? What do you think? Well, um, yes, no questions are more, more explicit and I think that's the word and mm -hmm. the double H question are more detailed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In just no question, as you mentioned, you're explicit and also you're going straight to the point, right? we're not going around and also the difference remember don't mix them because double h words double h questions will always start with double h words i want to emphasize that information now we have this important uh, part let me check patricia can you please read the information remember the difference between simple present and present continuous. Simple present, she works, subject plus verb uh, for habitual actions. 
present continuous, she is working. Subject plus B plus verb plus ing. Uh, that is for action that are happening right now. Excellent, very good, thank you. Now, I make this just to be a very, very clear, right? Just so that we're not confusing. Basically, of course it changes the, the tenses that we're using, but also you gotta keep in mind that if you are making continuous, you need to change the verb. In what sense? Means I'm gonna change the whole verb. No, remember, you're only going to double it up some letters, right? You're going to write down ing, okay? Let me check this. So let's move on. We have a structure for just no questions in present continuous. Liliana, please, can you read this information? This is structure. Okay. A structure for yes, no question in present continuous. B plus subject plus verb ing plus complement plus a question mark. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you. So this is the structure. If you don't have it, you can copy this structure on your notebook just in case you don't have it. <laughs> right let's move on i have this guiding examples can you please help me adriana with example number one number one is anna drinking soda yes she is excellent very good jancy can you help me with example number two uh, are Freddy and Anderson visiting their grandmother? No, they are not. Aren't. Very good, thank you. And the last one, Laura, can you please read number three? Am I having a great idea? Yes, yes, I am. Excellent, very good. All right, everyone, these are just guiding examples for you. And I need you to take them into consideration because then you will practice. Now, yes, Adriana? Miss, why, why you can change the order, the order, um, I and I am? Because remember that this is an affirmation, this is affirmative. It's like making a statement. Like making a sentence, right? You are being an you are giving an affirmation, but in here you are asking, and that's the grammatical rule. See, you need the verb be at the beginning, and then you get the subject. Verb am um, is is a verb be mm -hmm. in this case. Exactly, exactly. That's the reason why, and yeah, basically that's what I wanted to explain. Also, thank you, Adriana. Don't get confused because in here you get the basic answer, right? Like in the staple or in the order that is already established. For example, I cannot say, yes, I'm I. I'm I. That's, not, that's not possible. You've got to say, yes, I am. That's the correct way. Just the only reason why you're going to change the structure is for questions, all right? That's it. Is it only in, 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 simple, in present continuous? No, that's um, basically, all the time. basically, if you remember uh, in simple present, it's also an, an established rule. You need to have first the verb to be, and then the uh, subject. The subject, yes, mm -hmm. it's true. All right, excellent. Thank, Very thank good. You. 
you're welcome. Now, listen, everyone, I want to tell you this. I have been noticed lately. I have seen a lot of TV shows and I have seen that they keep saying, instead of saying, are you hungry, for example? Instead of saying, are you hungry, which is correct, that's the grammatical rule, they say, you're hungry? And my mind was, <laughs> wait a minute, <laughs> why are they doing that? That's not the grammatical rule. So then I understand that people, people want to change some things from English and they just do it. They believe that just by adding the sound, they are making the question. But no, I really want you to, to pay attention to this part. That's not correct for us and it's not correct in any other country, right? You remember to always use the verb to be, even if it is a simple present, present continuous, you're going to have the verb to be at the beginning of the question. Now, let's get to your favorite part of the class, practice time. Ileana, please give me the instructions. Okay, instruction. One, work individually. Two, create one question using present continuous. Three, share, share your question with the class. Excellent, very good. All right, girls, let's work on it. Girls and boys. <laughs> Finish. Excellent, very really good. All right, let's see, what do we have? Let's start with Patricia. Let's see, Patricia, tell me your question. Okay. Are your friend Emma eating a salad or a chicken? All right, very good. Uh, and the answer, and the answer is, she is eating salad and chicken. <laughs> excellent, very really good, very really good. All right, excellent. Remember that right now we are only using verb okay. to be, right? Or yes or no question, please. Okay, let's wait for the other ones. Right now we're just with just no question. All right, excellent, Patricia, thank you. What about Laura? Are we learning French in class? Oh, <laughs> we are it. We are not. No, like, yes, we are. Okay. Aquí de todo <laughs> Excellent, Laura, very good. Let's see, it. Adriana. Are you studying English? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Excellent, very good. Now, Diane, tell me yours. Are you having a great day? Yes, I am. Very good, that's correct. Mary, tell me your question. 
Are Betty and Anna eating? Yes, they are eating. Very good, all right, thank you. Nestor, your question. Uh -huh, Nestor, are oh. you there? Are you going to the party? Yes, I am. Excellent, bravo, very good. Veronica? Um, am I starting English? Yes, I am. Very good, very good. We're doing great. And let me check. Am I missing some others, Ileana? Okay. Is your brother dancing at home now? No, he isn't. All right, very good, excellent. And my dear friend, Jans, please. Uh, is Rosa playing basketball? Answer. Oh. <laughs> yes, she is. Very good, excellent. Now you have to take your time and you know how to work it. Let's work in pairs. All right? Eliana, choose somebody to work with. And you're going to ask one question in progressive. That person is going, give me one second. Let me check, somebody has the mic. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay, so that person is going to give you his answer, right? Then that other person is going to return to you with another question, right? And then you will give your own answer. Choose somebody, Eliana. Uh, Laura. Right? That's a little strange. <laughs> are you, Laura, are you <laughs> drinking soda? Yes, I am. <laughs> Jesus, Laura. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> no <point with> that. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> and okay. you, Ileana, are you eating your dinner right now? Um, no. Um, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm not excellent. Very good. Bravo. No, I'm not going to sandwich a la par. No. Yeah. Ah, por eso no me I, I am, I am hungry. hungry. I am hungry. Oh. Liliana, excellent. Oh, Liliana. Al descubierto, infraganti. All right. Thank you, Laura and Liliana. Very good job. Let's work with Diane. And Patricia, no, no, I won't choose. You choose your pair, Diane. Patricia, <laughs> are you <laughs> are you watching TV? No, I am not watching TV. I am in class. I am in <laughs> English class. <laughs> All right, return another question, Patricia. I question uh, to Diane. Mm -hmm. You gotta ask uh, her. Okay. Diane, um, ay, ¿qué le pregunto? <laughs> Uh, always about her. Yeah, remember to use a verb to be at the beginning. Are you? Daya, are you having a dog or a cow? A cat? I don't have either. <laughs> <laughs> None of them. <laughs> All right. Very good. That's correct. Thank you, Diane and Patricia. Excellent. Yeah, everyone, what I need you in here and what I want you is to have interaction between you and your classmates, right? Excellent. Now let's get Adrián. Choose who would you like to work with? With Adrián. Adrián le dije. <laughs> Adrián. Uh -huh. With? Mary. Mary, right? Action. Uh, are you cooking the dinner? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, return. 
Uh, okay. Are you running? Running? No, I'm not. All right, excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay. That's correct. Now let's get the last pair, which is going to be uh, Nestor. Let's see, Nestor. Would you like to work with Jancy or with Veronica? You choose. Oh, Yancy, um, are you going to uh, to the party? Yeah, um, I like the party. Yes, I am. She's going. All right. Hey, Jancy. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? <laughs> um, Hector. Hector. Um, <laughs> the fish? Repite el cuento, Héctor, liking the fish. In progress, in Jansi. Um, you are, you are liking the fish. Are you? Are you liking the fish? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> well. Now let's check this one. I'm gonna tell you. Thank you, Jancy and Nestor. Very good job. I'm gonna make a small a parenthesis thing here. There are some verbs which we are not permitted or we are not allowed to use in ING. And I believe I told you last class some of them, for example, uh, love. You are not allowed to say loving, right? You shouldn't say it, although is the slogan of a fast food restaurant, right? But you didn't hear it for me. All right, but you are not allowed to use it in progress. That's according to the grammatical rules. But as always, or as always, or as per usual in this life, they change things, right? But things like liking, you cannot say liking it, right? You cannot say that in, in progressive because according to that grammatical rules, you shouldn't. But you know what? I have a great idea. And you will tell me if you would like to have that information. I have my own book in which it appears some of the verbs that we shouldn't use with ING. Would you like me to bring that information for you to next class? Yes, teacher. Yes, all right, excellent. Yeah, because some of those verbs are related with feelings. And I don't want you to be complicating yourself like, can I use them or not, right? So that's correct. Very good. Thank you, everyone. Let's move on. Double H question with present continuous. Um, Diane, please, the structure. The structure is double H plus B plus subject plus verb, ing form, plus complement. Excellent, very good, that's correct. So if you want everyone, you can copy this structure. Teacher, hmm? how do you say W A H? Yes, double H words. W H or double H? Oh, thank you. Okay, let's move on. Keep in mind. Adriana, can you please read this information? In double edge questions, you have to provide more information. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. I was missing the S. <laughs> All right, thank you, Adriana. Don't, don't forget everyone this, try to keep it in mind. In double edge, 
The purpose is for you to have more information. Mm, guiding examples. And when I'm telling you to have more information, I'm not telling you to overreact, right? Like giving, imagine because today in the morning I was waking up and no, just a small details, but you're providing more, right? We have these questions. Let me see, Nestor, can you read please number one? Uh, what what is Anna drinking? Uh, she is drinking soda. All right, excellent. Thank you. No, I having this. All right, excellent. Drinking soda. Thank you, Nestor. Let's move on with Veronica. Can you please read number two? Who are you waiting for? Um, waiting for Eunice. All right, excellent, thank you. So these are basic writing examples. We only have two, but I'm pretty sure that in the platform you saw more and then you're going to practice with them. Let's move on. We have practice time. Uh, Laura, can you please read the instructions? Instructions. Number one, work individually. Number two, to create one question in present continuous by using WH words. And number three, share the sentence with the class. Excellent, very good. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's work on it. Remember to give the answers by yourself right now. Finish. Excellent, Eliana. Finish. Great, Diane. Very good. Finish. All right. We may start now as well. Let's see. Let's start with Eliana. Tell me your question and your answer. Okay. Where is your sister working? She's working at the office. Excellent. Very good. Great. Let's see, Diane, your question. When are you going to the restaurant? I'm going to the restaurant on Saturday. Exactly, very good. One using when. Excellent. Let's see, Patricia. Okay. Where are your father waiting for his friend? And the answer, he's waiting him in the bus station. Excellent. Very good. That's correct. Let me check somebody else. Adriana. Why are you going in bus to the work? Mm -hmm. I am in I am in bus to my work because I don't have a car. All right, excellent. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's correct. Um let me check Veronica. If not, let me check somebody else. Mary? 
What is Sofia eating? She is eating pizza in the morning. All right, excellent. So, in the afternoon. In the afternoon, very good. All right, excellent. Um, Nestor? Why it is eating a lot of food? Repeat again, sorry. Why it is it eating uh, a lot of food? Oh, you want to use why? Why is it eating a lot of food? <laughs> yes. Porque se me dice what es que es, es así. Si no fuéramos a lo straight, sería que que está comiendo mucha comida, right? So mm -hmm. you want to ask why, right? Why? Uh -huh. Excellent. And the answer? Because she's hungry. Oh, yes, you're hungry. <laughs> it's All very right. hungry. It's very hungry. <laughs> All right, excellent. It's really good, Nestor. Thank you. And let's get a uh habit, -huh, Veronica. Um, which is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. All right. We are using progressive always, Veronica. You need your verb in progressive. Okay, for example. Um, why are you drinking horchata or something else? Why are you sleeping in the class? Or why are you uh, laughing in the class? Anything but in progress, right? Let's get to Jansi. Let's see, Jansi, your question. Uh, what are you watching? Answer my husband. Hey, excellent, really good. What are you watching? You can say something like, I'm watching my husband. All right, excellent. very good. Now, let's start with the choosing pairs in here with practice. Adriana, choose your pair, please. And remember to ask any question, not the same question that you have, another one. Uh, Ilian? To Ilian, uh -huh. uh, What are you studying English? Why? So, why? Repeat, please. Yes. Why are you studying English? Um, I'm studying English. Um, because I like it. Valid reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay, return for that question, please, Juliana. Um, why, why are cooking now? What or why? Why, why? Ah, okay. Interesting. Uh, I, I don't cooking. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because she asked you, she asked for a reason, right? Why are you cooking now? <laughs> because my mother is cooking. <laughs> the dinner. All right. All right. That's a valid reason too. Excellent. Very really good. Thank you, Adriana Thank and Ileana. You. Thank Let's you. see, Jancy. Choose someone, somebody who would you like to work with. Excuse me. Choose someone. Select one of your classmates, and you are going to create one question, and you are going to ask her. Um. What are you doing? compañera. Select one classmate. Um, Laura. Hi. Uh, 
What are you doing? Doing? No, <laughs> I'm in English class. Excellent. Very good. Return her the question, please. Okay, and Jancy, where are you going from vacation this year? Yes. Uh, where? Where? Uh, where? Where are you going for oh. vacation? Um, Honduras. I'm going to Honduras. Going. Going. Uh, excuse me. Going to Honduras. Going to Honduras. No se olviden que para las double H necesitan respuestas un poquito más largas, no solo yes, no, Honduras, Nicaragua, no. We need more information, right? Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Excellent. That's great. Thank you, Yan. Let's see, Veronica, choose somebody, please. <clears throat> Let's see, Veronica. Patricia. Patricia, okay. okay. Hi, Ask Veronica. Me. What are, are the boys doing? Ah, what are the boys doing? See? Sí. Uh-huh. My boy, my boys are making her making his homeworks. Right, excellent. That's correct. Uh -huh. Now return her a and question. Now, Veronica, who is painting your house right now? Hi, Veronica, who's painting your house right now? Veronica. Ay, se nos fue Veronica. <laughs> All right, don't worry, Patricia. I'm gonna answer that question. Nobody's painting my Nobody. house. <laughs> Yeah, nobody's painting my house. Although I want it to be paint. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. All right, let me check, Diane. Choose who would you like to work with? Um, Nestor, where are you going on Sunday? Uh, Sunday. I don't, I don't know and um, where are you going? If you're not going anywhere, you can say it. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere or I'm staying at home. I'm staying at home. <laughs> All right. Okay, Nestor, return her a question, please. Um, uh, where are you playing in the park? What are you playing in the park? Where? Where are you playing in the park? Pero ella me está diciendo que está en el park. Sí, no. ¿Cuándo están jugando en el parque? Ah, when. When. When are you playing in the park? I am playing in the park on Saturday. All right, excellent. Really good, everyone. Thank you so much for your practice. I'm proud of you. Let me tell you, I know sometimes it's hard. It could be because we are not so like um, close to the structures, right? But very good job. Overall, you did great. An amazing job and amazing practice. Now, before leaving the class, <coughs> I want to ask you something. How are you doing with the exercise? Are we doing great? Are we doing bad? Como vamos?
Finished. Uh, yeah, Patricia finished already. Yeah. I'm, I'm finished too. Oh, you finished. Excellent. Yes. Me too. Excellent. I am working in section, section five. All right. Excellent, Adrian. Very good. All right, everyone. I'm glad some of you already finished and some of you are really advanced. Excellent. All right. That's happy. Yeah. Remember that if you by any chance have any question, I'm always available. Lo que no entiendo, lo que no entiendo es eh, qué eh, es lo que vamos a hacer en la sección donde habla de, la, de las canciones. O sea, ahí pone uno dos, uh, de, uh, del uno hasta el ocho. O sea, pero hay algo ahí que, que o sea, cómo lo... De, eso es lo de Cristina Aguilera, creo, que sí, sí, sí. menciona, usted tiene que poner cronológicamente, no cronológicamente, sino que ahí le preguntan algo que sucedió de tal año a tal año entonces usted en, en el texto que le dan eh, para eh, la clase ahí dice este, cuando le cantó para Disney, cuando estuvo ella ganando premios de no sé qué, cuando bueno, cosas así, entonces mmm, ahí va eligiendo ah, ¿cómo? ¿cómo le digo? Ahí va eligiendo lo que fue sucediendo en esos, en, en, ahí pues, o sea, cronológicamente. ¿Qué me parece, Néstor, si no, le mando? Eh, así es cierto, lo que dice Patricia justamente así, va como por, por el orden, por orden de, de los sucesos, basically. Este, yo le voy a escribir, Néstor, y le voy a mandar un ejemplo de un ejercicio nada más para que usted se guíe, ¿all right? ¿Le parece bien? Yes, yes. All right, very good. All right, everyone, without further ado, thank you so much for being in class. Um, it was a pleasure to see you, and let's see you in the next class. Bye. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 <laughs> Me another bot. No. Bye. <laughs>